So in the previous video, we've had a look at the, the regular vertical trellis and how that's worked for the Maluma Avocado. Things are a little bit different in this trellis system. It's a V or Tatura system. Unfortunately, Alasbesta erected this structure when the tree was already a couple of years old, two years old. And as a result, it hasn't had the, the uniform growth on either side as, as the company would have hoped. I'm here with Xander Ernst. Uh, perhaps you could tell me a little bit more about that. Yes, the, the, the main issue with this system, like we mentioned, is it was only put in after 30 years. Um, the basic advantage of the system, firstly, is that you, you're increasing the capacity. Instead of having a central leader tree, single row, um, you have the ability to split the tree with two branches on each side of the system. The second uh, benefit of it is, as you can see here, all the fruit is open and it's hanging downwards. So when you would come through and spray, uh, there's hardly any fruit. You know, it's only this little bunch here that's covered by, by leaves. So your spraying efficiency is supposedly also a bit better. Um, obviously with the V system, we also expected better pack outs because of more, uh, less uh, sunlight, you know, coming onto the fruit with the leaves going on the inside. Um, but at the moment, we don't really see that difference yet. Again, um, this system we will test it in the new commercial orchard um, where you what you would want to do is from year one already start training two uh, central leaders up because we elected the center uh, the system so late um, we had one going the one way and it took us another year to get to, to get the second um, leader going up on the other side but this tree will show you basically if you look on that side there's a younger one going up so that one will most definitely flower this year and then this one will continue to grow up and uh, up to the um, four meters. I think the important thing with this system as well is the angles at which you put the system um, has a different effect on growth. And I think it's very important um, to try and determine what the optimal angle is. But I think before we reach that point, the ideal will obviously firstly be to see whether there's a difference between the, same, uh, the, the single leader vertical system versus this V system. Um, and then if the system does show that it has opportunity, then we can start playing with different angles and see what the opportunities are there. Mm. I think the major thing behind this is you need to keep the, the center of the, part of the tree open to get sunlight down onto these branches, because then they will also crop. The mm. ideal is that you don't have branches going into the other, tree, other side of the tree. Um, so the V is where the sunlight, and the idea is that on the inside of the V, the tree will flower where the sun is. But as the fruit sets, it starts hanging through the, the trellising so that the fruit's on the bottom part. And on this trellis, are you seeing that same effect whereby the southwest sun in the afternoon is having an effect on the leaves and the type of leaf cover for the avocados themselves? Um, I won't say I see it as much, um, but it is. I think in this system it's more that the leaf cover tends to grow on the inside of the tree. Mm -hmm. um, the worrying factor with that side is what the effect of the overshadowing will be there. But as I mentioned, um, with a system, the ideal is that the flower is on this side of the tree and on that side of, you know, with, on the inside of the V. Mm. So basically, um, I think personally, if this system does show some potential, um, I think the thing would be to monitor in time is whether the one side of the tree actually crops more than the other side. If that continues, you would have to play around perhaps with, with your, your row direction to get sunlight you know, into the V as optimally as possible. And I'd just like to highlight one thing as well. How, weeks are, how many weeks are we out from harvest? Currently we're about four weeks out from harvest and you can see the fruit size is actually quite nice. Uh, roughly this should be account 12 or 14 in a 4 kg box. Um, the average fruit weight on Maluma um, is basically a 280 to a 300 gram fruit. Um, and I think noticeable about these fruit is the size is relatively constant uh, throughout the tree. You only have one or two smaller fruit, but it's a very constant size. Um, Maluma starts cropping, uh, the, f the fastest that we've had trees cropping is 12 months after planting. Um, so um, in terms of Maluma, a three-year-old tree is already almost a mature tree. So you, um, this is not a case of bigger fruit because of the, the fact that it's a young tree, it's bigger fruit because of genetics. Fantastic. Well, thanks a lot for explaining that and best of luck with the practice. Thank you very much. Thanks.